What is going on guys? Welcome to your second MySQL tutorial and in this lesson we're going to be talking about MySQL servers. No more slideshows, it's time to get our hands dirty and start doing some stuff on the computer. So like I said the very first thing that you need in order to start practicing MySQL is a MySQL server. What this is is a server with MySQL installed on it. So if you're learning this because maybe your boss said hey you need to learn MySQL or maybe you're at work and you're taking a class on databasing then 99% of the time they already have a server with everything set up ready to go the only thing that you need to know how to do is log in and they're gonna give you the login information however if you're just learning this at home because I don't know maybe you just want to learn about MySQL or learn how to make awesome websites then you also need access to a MySQL server now it isn't like you can just go look under your bed and find one laying around it's not like a shoelace you probably need to go google web hosting companies basically you need to find somewhere where you can access a server and install MySQL on it now like I said you can either google server space and buy an account then install it or what you can do is you can just look for companies that offer MySQL already installed on the server and it's not like this is an uncommon thing where you guys are gonna have to search for hours ninety percent of the companies already offer servers with MySQL installed on it that's how common this is the only thing that you need to know how to do is basically you're gonna just need to create an account log in and you're gonna be ready to go everything's gonna be set up now the company I recommend if you guys don't have access to a server already and you need one I'm gonna recommend going through hostgator.com and I don't say this because they pay me or anything although I kinda of wish they did but this is an awesome company and they have all the tools awesome support and I just love them I actually been with them for a long time but I wanna mention this if you guys can find a free one then I highly encourage that and if anyone can actually find a free one then go ahead and leave a comment below don't keep the secrets to yourself like I said I'm always encouraging free schooling and education especially when it comes to software so like I said leave a comment below or on my forum and I'm sure there are free ones out there so anyways once you have a server set up whether it's through your school or work or you have to buy one online then what the heck do you do where are you supposed to start typing this SQL code well there are a couple different places you can start practicing SQL MySQL now I want to mention this before you guys you know get disappointed if you are doing this through school then your teacher is probably going to make you use some command line prompt that looks like this let me actually go typed in the wrong thing there CMD they're gonna make you use a command prompt that looks like this it kinda of looks like you're programming the matrix or something I don't know why they do this it's just torturing you guys but anyways whenever I was in college that's what they made me do now I'm gonna be using a different tool that's a little bit prettier why well first of all because I'm not 60 years old and I don't want to use a tool that looks like this but I want to mention that no matter what tool you use you're gonna be able to follow along with these tutorials just fine so don't think just because I'm using a different tool then you're not gonna understand what's going on the core language is basically the same no matter what tool you use and for those of you who are wondering what tool I'm gonna to use it's called PHP my admin whenever you log into your account it's gonna be right there so anyways that's what tool I'm gonna to be using and like I said no matter how you log into your account no matter where you get your server from no matter what tool you use you're gonna be able to follow along with my tutorials just fine so in the next tutorial what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be creating our very first database and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to import all of the tables that you need and yes I made them and they're available for 100 percent free thank you very much and I'm gonna be showing you guys where to download them from my website and how to import them so you can follow along with my tutorials but for now thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you in the next video oh and by the way don't forget to subscribe